Jessica, did you hear me? You're pregnant. Are you sure? I take it this wasn't planned. No, it's not that. It's just that... I... No, I had no idea. Maybe I had a virus. Nope. You're having a baby. Oh, my God. Congratulations, Jessica. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to assume. Uh, is this not good news? Not sure. Is there anything that might have caused a false positive? Um, the test is pretty accurate. Just never expected. How far along am I? About two months. Two months? Mm -hmm. Recovering from everything that happened with Mitch Lawrence, and I just started this new job. This was the last thing that I expected. I understand. It's a little overwhelming. Who was it you saw when you had Bree? I want to send the test results over. Um, I I'm not sure who I'm going to use this time. It's just that you have these underlying health concerns. I really do think that you need to be seen sooner than later. Right. Of course. Thank you, doctor. Of course. Dr. Evans. Danielle, how are you doing? Um, could I ask you a few questions about my mother? Sure. Come on in here. So, I know that my mom has glioblastoma and that the treatments haven't been working, mm -hmm. but I've been doing some research. Online? Yeah, and um, I found this site. If I may. There's a lot of good, solid information online, particularly if you can access a university library or a medical journal. But there's also a lot of misleading information online. Yeah, I know. And glioblastoma but this site... is particularly resistant to conventional therapies. Right, which is why I've been looking at new therapies. Look, this guy, he's had a ton of success with his new procedure that he just developed. Uh, Danielle, the reason scientists submit their works to medical journals as opposed to posting them on websites is that the boards of these medical journals won't publish anything unless it has been tested. Why are you being so negative? I'm just being realistic. No, no, no. I think you don't want to admit that there might be someone out there who can help my mother more than you can. You really are your father's daughter, aren't you? Right. I am my father's daughter. And he will give me all the money I need to help find my mother a cure. We all want a cure for your mother. I've spoken to experts at three different teaching hospitals, and they all agree. There is no cure. Look, what about this guy? Look, unfortunately, there are people out there, opportunists, that will try and take advantage of wealthy patients. Uh, yeah? And what if Matthew hadn't believed in you and his parents thought that you were an opportunist? Danielle, I know that you want to help your mother. But there's nothing else I can do for her. You're not the only doctor in the world. I help Matthew, and I'm going to help my mother. And you? You can go to hell. 